My first guest tonight is the commissioning director for BBC Television. Please give a warm welcome to Mr Tony Hayes. <laughs> Knowing me, Alan Partridge, knowing you, Tony Hayes. Aha. Aha. <laughs> Tony Hayes, Commissioning Director of BBC Television. Alan Partridge, presenter of Radio 4's Jewel in the Crown. Yeah. No, no, it's knowing me, knowing you. <laughs> I, I meant Jewel in the Crown. It's not as called the... Jewel in the Crown, no. that's another thing. <laughs> Let's move on. Right, yeah, of course. Now, in a short while, you will be taking telephone calls from members of the public... That's right. Um, ..who want to know questions about BBC television. That's why you're on the show, and yes. we look forward to that. Yes. Now, there is an ethos behind the BBC. Yes. Motto. What is that? We've always, and always will be, committed to, to making programmes of originality, quality and excellence. I can see that, because I go home, I sit down, I turn the television on, Mm. onto BBC One, and I sit and watch The Darling Buds of May, mm. and, I, and I say, thank God for the BBC. This is quality. Uh, well, that's very kind, Alan. I have to say that Darling Buds of May is actually ITV. Was is it? Oh, right. Well, um, um, Inspector Morse, then. <laughs> ITV. Right, OK. Uh, the Bill? The Bill? ITV. Right. Um, Noel's House Party. <laughs> Yes, that's us, Alan, yes. <laughs> OK. Right, fine, so I like to go home, sit down and think, I want originality, quality and excellence. I watch Noel's House Party <laughs> and I think, thank God for the BBC. <laughs> originality, quality and excellence. Yes. Noel's House Party. <laughs> It's interesting. Actually, you say the Darling Buds of May, um, because I remember now that the BBC was offered that show yes, and turned correct. it down. That's correct, yes. So someone, somewhere along the line, let 20 million viewers <laughs> slip through his fingers. He must be kicking himself now. <laughs> that was me. It's <laughs> rubbish, though, isn't it? <laughs> it's rubbish, though, isn't it? It's, uh... Well, I thought it was very good. It I is, it is. It's, it's great. It's perfect, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you just said it was rubbish, Alan. Yeah, it is rubbish. The, the viewing figures, the, they're 20 million. They can't be that much. That's rubbish. That's rubbish. But, right. Yeah. Right. Right, um, I think it's time for the first caller, which is Steve from Hornsey in North London. Steve, are you there? Yeah, hello, Alan. Hello. Have you got a question for Tony Hayes? Yeah, uh, Tony. Hello, hello. Steve. Hello. hello. Uh, I'm a big fan of Duchess of Duke Street. <laughs> the uh, Duchess of Duke Street. Right. Uh, I'm right. just wondering, are you going to bring that back? Are you going to have a repeat for that? Um, there, I must confess there aren't any firm plans at the moment, but it, I, I was a big fan of the series, and I'm pleased to hear that it's fondly remembered in the public's eye, and um, I guess I'll do my best to see for the future. Actually, you could possibly get is it on video. Is it available on video? No, I don't think so. You could try the BBC shop. I, yeah. I'm not sure myself. Oh, well, I hope, I hope that helps you, Steve. Yeah. Can is I ask you a question, Alan? Certainly, far away. Why are you such a tit? <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we do... We can't... <laughs> sure. We've, 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 we've no control over that, so I apologise right. in advance. You haven't answered a question! Why has it been cut off? He should have been cut off! <laughs> sorry. Um, the next is... Kelly from Withington. Kelly? Hello. 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 Kelly. Kerry. Kerry, sorry. Why haven't you got more youth programmes? What? What? Why aren't there more youth programmes? Why aren't there more youth programmes? Um, well, Kerry, um, that's an area of programming that we're addressing at the moment. We have a youth controller and um, we hope that within the next few years we'll really have tackled programming for the 15 to 25 year old age bracket. Great. And, and, uh, and I'd like to think that Knowing Me, Knowing You is in there with the youth programmes because uh, Simon Bates is a big fan of the show and uh, <laughs> he's certainly got his finger on the nub of youth. Right. Uh, <laughs> and... Uh, I, and, uh, and indeed, Kerry's called, so I imagine she's a listener. Kerry, do you like the show? No. Right, OK. <laughs> All right. Um, fine. Uh, next call is Amanda... Amanda Southampton from Southampton. Are you there? 
It's just Amanda from Southampton. OK. Have you got a question, Have you got a question for Tony? Yes, hello, Tony. Hello, Amanda. Um, I listen uh, regularly to Radio 4, mm -hmm. and um, I heard all of Knowing Me, Knowing You as a consequence. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I just want to say that um, it's the most insidiously offensive programme that I've ever heard. Um, right. I don't know how much of it you've heard, but um, um, Alan Partridge, if I can just say, has on air, to my knowledge, hit a child. Mm -hmm. uh, he's gambled away his wife's car. Um, he has taken cocaine, um, bribed rent boys. Um, he was openly homophobic to um, a gay lawyer. I'm sorry, I can't remember his name. Nick um, Ford. Nick Ford, thank you. <laughs> Um, patronising to all his women mm. guests. Oh, look, have you got a question, dearie? <laughs> well, it's, it's more, really more of a plea, Mr. Hares. Um, yes. Just please don't let Alan Partridge on the television. <laughs> well, Amanda, I'm not responsible for radio, so... Tony, if I, can I deal with this, please? Listen... Listen, love, in the cut and thrust, in the cut and thrust of a chat show, people are going to get hit. <laughs> you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, think, I imagine that's a hoax caller, probably uh, wife of the, uh, of the tit man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've, got time for, we've got time for one more call, which is from uh, John in Norwich. Hello. John? Hello, Alan. I listen to Knowing Me, Knowing You a lot. I'm a big yes, fan, so. and I think it should definitely go to television. Right. Um, it could be made very cheaply by Pear Tree Productions, which <laughs> is Alan Partridge's company, I believe. That's right. They could make it at Anglia Studios in Norwich. Yes. Uh, very mm -hmm. cheaply. Anglia Studios, uh, I understand, has excellent online editing facilities <laughs> and digital editing equipment as well, right. which would yeah. be useful for television. And I reckon you could probably bring in a show for about £75,000, which in TV terms is very cheap, so you'd have quality programming for a cheap budget. He's got a well, point. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, John. I, um, I, I'll bear all that in well, mind. That's very interesting. Is, is that all, John? That all you've got to say? Anything else? Um, format? The format, because... <laughs> Because it would be transferring direct from radio, you wouldn't have to pay Pear Tree Productions a large development fee. It mm -hmm. could just transfer straight away. I mean, Alan could start broadcasting as of next week, if you want right. to. Can I just ask, John, what do you do for a living? I'm a plumber. Thanks very much. Uh, <laughs> thanks, thanks very much. Jason from Norwich. Uh, John. John from Norwich, a plumber. OK, well, uh, thanks very much, Tony Hayes. Uh, give a round of applause, Tony Hayes!